my beautiful beans and things. We are back with Xenoblade 2. Last time we found out Gramps is basically an immortal jellyfish. We got introduced to Tora, Morag, and Bridget. And Nia got captured. So now we have to go save her. So let's jump right into it. So what do you actually need to finish this artificial blade? One perfect range sensor and three bion connectors. I don't even think I've heard of either of those. Perfect range sensor supplements function of eyes and artificial blade. Quite pricey item, but very important. And the bion connectors? They have many uses, but mostly to prevent hat fall off. Would ordinary piece of string not suffice? So um, where can we buy these items? At Margia's Odds and Ends. It's just off to the left after entering Toragoth City. I'm sure we must have walked past that area before. Alright, let's go. Alright, Casa. Hello. Hello there. Tora here to buy perfect rain sensor and buy on connectors. Ah, you're the young Nopon who was gazing longingly at those the other day. Hey, man, you noticed? Well, considering you were staring for three hours straight. But I'm dreadfully sorry, we're all out of perfect rain sensors right now. We've still got plenty of bion connectors still, though. They're 4,000 gold apiece. 12,000 for three of them? Hmm, that really is pretty pricey. Rexx promised to pay a whole amount, no backsies! I mean, sure, I'm not about to go back on my word, but hmm. Are you one of those salvagers? Yep, I may not look it, but I'm actually a professional at it. Then maybe you can get a bion connector that way. Apparently they fish up the things quite regularly around the season. Oh, well, that's not a bad idea. Let's go give it a try. Good luck, Rexx. Um, I'll show you around too. Oh, maybe we've already fished some up. Yeah, sure. Real problem is the perfect rain sensor. Could we not salvage that as well? Uh, don't think I've heard any likely spots for those lately. They're almost impossible to find, except when the titans and the clouds see a line exactly the right way. And even if we did find a spot where they might show up, we need a lot of luck to actually bag one. So, we don't exactly have time to waste, so perhaps salvaging isn't the answer. Hey, can I ask you something? From the looks of it, this young lady here is a blade and you're her driver, am I right? Huh? Uh, is that what it looks like? Wait one moment, please. Rex, Rex, and Tora also blade, actually. <laughs> Does that make me the driver? Surely the driver would have to be me. Can we try to be a little believable here? We need to sort out our stories. Hey, now, no need to get your dinkers in a twist. I'm just a regular botanist. Botanist? Tora would never guess. I get that a lot. The thing is, I was heading to Lasham Island for spotted field work, but I ran into a bit of monster trouble. I tried asking the Imperial Army to help me out, but it looks like they're pretty busy right now. So I was figuring you lot are decent fighting. Maybe you could take care of the issue for me? If you help me out, I might just be able to spare a perfect rain sensor I've got lying around in storage. Well, that sounds perfect. Yeah, we'll see what we can do. Lasham Island isn't hard to find. You can see it to the left as you exit the city through the main entrance. Alright. Just take care of the droop and crabble you find there and be careful. They can be vicious. Hey Sedwin. Oh hey, you're back! Took out that droop and crabble, did you? I knew I made the right call asking you guys. Here's the perfect rain sensor as promised. You're not worried about everything else around there? I question you. Thank you so much. We've had it lying around since my grandpa's generation, so it's a bit dusty, but it should work just fine. Thanks for all your help. Everything should be fine now. Hmm. All right. All right. Let's build us an AI blade. It's really complete. Very complete. Just need to apply energy charge to activate. All right. Tora, our friend's execution draws near. There's no time to lose. Make haste. I know, I know. Oh, okay, artificial blade. It's wakey wakey time. That won't do, Tora. What, what Tora do wrong? You can't keep calling her artificial blade. You need a name. As her creator, the least you can do is give her a proper name oh um well 
actually, friends, Tora did think of name for her. Very good name. Oh. Nice. Then I guess there's no problem. Well, why don't you introduce us, Tora? Right away. Oh. Now, wakey, wakey. Tora's very own blade. Oh, Poppy. <laughs> Poppy's such a name. I love it. Oh. Uh might be a bit of overkill, but uh, it works, right? <gasps> Poppy? Can you be of service, Master? <laughs> I had a suspicion. Oh, 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 wait a minute! Oh, forget you see that! Tora must change the settings. <clears throat> the settings? Ah, <laughs> uh, this time should be okay. Second time go best. Power on! Absolutely. You're amazing, Tora. Though I was pretty surprised before when she was all, you know. <laughs> Forget about it. That's not Tora's fault. <laughs> that was, um, Grampy Pond. Grampy Pond Susie made settings. <laughs> yes, definitely Grampy Pond's fault. <laughs> Are you she knows sure, the truth. Tora? Yes, Grampy Pond. <clears throat> yes. <laughs> Judgment. The eyes of judgment. <laughs> well, let's not dwell on that. Rex, let's go rescue Nia and Drolik. No time to lose. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. No focusing on that. Ah, uh, death. Uh, no. I know where you are. That shrew thinks she owns the place. Just because she curries favor with the Emperor. If only I'd got the Aegis myself, I could have returned home in triumph. Or sold her to Banna for a tiny sum. But it's not over. I refuse to let this place be the end of me. I will not be left to rot in this flea-bitten backwater. Captain Patrick! Uh, oh. Yes, sir. Double the number of guardsmen. Round up whoever you can find. We're going to find that Aegis before Morag gets her paws on her. Uh, <laughs> so, as you you wish, might sir. want to be a little more discreet if Watch you have evil plans. Morag See, she knows how to use discretion. <laughs> ah, yes. We are the masters of discretion. Why do you not have your cape? I'm gonna hide, hide you for a bit. Uh, we're, we're not uh, doing anything suspicious. Nothing, nothing at all. Okay. There is Titan warship. Hmm, quite the impressive titan. Another sign that Morardin is readying once more for war with Uriah. Look, that route goes right to the ship, just like Pyra said. Very good. Yes, yes! We should be able to climb down over here. Let's go. 
Okay. We got we it. Go. Understood. I'm so ready. I'm so ready to rescue Nia. Let's go. Um. Uh, it's gonna be quite a jump. Just saying. Looks pretty high. Give me a moment. Aha! Can you pull us all up, though? Pyra, you first. Oh, okay. That works. I'll pull you up, so hold tight. So heavy. What did you say? Huh? Yow! Now look here, Rex. You can't just go and call a lady heavy. Oh, Rex Rex, a little tactless. Sorry about that. I guess I was just surprised. No, no, it's not your fault. I... Your weapon. Ooh, she heavier than Tora for sure. <laughs> but that just means Pyra grown to impressive height. It is good thing. Pyra should be proud. <laughs> Buffy does not need the help. Ish. Poppy pull Pyra up. Please, grab again. <laughs> <laughs> nice, Poppy. Poppy, artificial blade. This is no problem. Poppy could lift Gonzalez if necessary. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right. Then we're just ignoring the fact uh, that, uh. Ooh. I like the music. Da da da. Master Pond. Poppy can feel there is a blade in the vicinity. Oh, but how can Poppy tell that? Unclear. Poppy feel other blade like wave in air. Huh. I'm not sure I get it, but maybe Dromark is nearby. Oh. Let's try opening up some of these doors. Smash all the doors. Oh. Uh, you might want to back up, my dude. <laughs> Glory Caster. Ah. That took a while. Um I didn't hurt anyone, did I? Everyone check your eyebrows. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's hard to judge the power sometimes. Pyra. Rex. Dromark. It's good to see you alive. It is very good. See, Master Pon? There was a blade here. Master <laughs> Titan, and forgive me, but who are they? <laughs> new friends! All the new friends. Dromark, we don't have much time. Do you know where Nia is? But of course, we are in residence after all. I feel her presence. Then let's go. We can't let her get executed. Indeed. This way. Do -do -do. Ah! Having a nice bit of a meal? No. These poor guys just wanted a coffee break and instead they're getting, you know, just absolutely smacked. Uh, we're not beating up the- I love these people are like, oh, we're not- we're not gonna deal with these people. We're just gonna ignore them. We're having no part of this. These guys are just like- I feel so bad for these Ardanian soldiers. They just, they just are relaxing, they're having a nice relaxing evening, chatting, gossiping. And then we just come in and start smacking them all. That guy's just like, I'm not getting involved in this. This 
guys. <laughs> he just walked through like, uh, I don't get paid enough for this. And we're just stealing. Yeah, not only are we harassing and beating up these poor dudes that are just like trying to earn a paycheck. We're stealing from them as well. <gasps> the sick pay. I... I apologize. But I need to rob you. <laughs> I'm starting to feel like we're the bad guys. This, this poor medic's just like... What did I do? Beat up the poor dog as well. Uh, I think we might have found her. No doubt about it. That's the place. We have found her. Who are you people? Terror we terror are the terror. terror. Her friends, but I won't let you call her a terrorist. We're, we're the ones that are the ones terrorizing these poor soldiers but just trying to... Alright. I'm so sorry. There we go. Let's go. We got this. We're getting close. All right. Oh, I see. Very nice. Smack. Okay, come on. Dora, don't die, please. Help up. Okay. Okay, we're getting close. Alright, we got one down. So we don't have to worry about this Ardanian soldier. Probably you should grab that. Okay. Okay. As soon as there we go. Alright. Let's go. Do -do -do. How do you not hear the? Unless this was the prior tour to us uh, coming. Yeah. Oh. Why was she locked up for the first time? Oh, yeah, we could. Hi. Jin? You alright, Nia? Rex, you... My lady, apologies for my late arrival. Don't Aww. mention it. I didn't think anyone was coming at all. As if we'd leave you. Always help those who help you. That's the second rule of the salvages code. Well, that's you all over, ain't it? <laughs> Rex, Rex! Tora has found escape route! Hurry, hurry! Let's go. He has been of some assistance. We made Hi. a new friend. Uh, nice to meet you. We don't oh, have time for introductions. I escape. I our welcome here. Time to get moving. <laughs> He was like, what has happened while I have been locked up? Yay! 
We have a full party. Oh. See that icon floating over there? It indicates the location of a heart-to-heart -heart talk. Heart-to-hearts are important events that let your party members grow closer together as friends. You run into these icons all over all rests. So it's a good idea to check them out as you encounter them. Hi, potato. To view a heart-to-heart, -heart, you'll need to have the right people present in your party. At the right time of day, you can view these conditions by accessing the icon. The more heart-to-hearts you view, the bond of trust and affinity between you and your blade will deepen. Alright. Huh. The inside of a Titan battleship is way different from the Monoceros, eh? Oh. What is Monoceros? I want. Yes, you saw it, right? More did appear back in Goldmouth. Jin and Poe's black boat. Oh. Ah, that really impressive one. It runs without being hooked up to a Titan, right? I'm no expert, but yeah, looked like it. Oh. Sound awesome. Tora want to see too. You won't get the chance unless we see those Torna guys again. Meh, 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 Tora changed mind. No need to see. <laughs> Master Pond changed mind at drop of hat. He well, provides the hat. Ross was pretty sweet, but this is nothing to scoff at either. For sure, it's full of things I've never seen before. Well, that's because this vessel is result of latest breakthroughs in our Danian tech. Regular folk never so much as set foot on board. You say breakthroughs in technology, but what you mean is salvage stuff, right? Um, not exclusively. I see lots of homegrown improvements as well. Ah, are these two can bond over, like, is it salvage? Is it new? Like this, see? Whatever they've stuffed in here, it's been messed with so much, I can't tell what it was to start with. That control panel, it transmits signal to Titan nerves. By oh. running cables to different parts of Titan from here, can a control signal flow much more better? What? That's amazing. I feel like Gramps would And this cable not. itself have 2.4 <laughs> times the speed and 12 times the capacity of previous iteration. <laughs> In other words, hit on whole other level to stuff other countries use. Yeah. Ah. So if they put this in a smaller Titan vessel, it would work even better. <laughs> Pin bomb, correct. Da -da -da. They seem to be having fun, but it's all gibberish to me. Poppy, what do you think? Oh. Oh no. What do I choose? Max is an idiot. Get along with Shulk, yes. Uh, it might make Nia feel better. Titan battleship is same as what Poppy's muscles and drivetrain use. Oh. Poppy is surprised. <laughs> but however though, ones that Poppy use are even more improved than these here. Yish. Yet more surprise. Yet more surprise. Are you saying you stole the tech from Northern Day? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, better cat. Come on, Tora. Is that what you call sporting behavior? There's no sporting behavior in science! Tora take calculated risk in service to cause of scientific advancement! As a result, not even our Danian scientists capable of reverse engineer poppy systems. So, no worries there. Do -do -do. Upon learning secret of Poppy's birth, Poppy feels sense of unease. <laughs> uh, everything fine. Probably. Probably. Now, Rex Rex! No time for chit chat. Let's get going. <laughs> She's like, come here. Come back here. What are you doing? It's the very Japanese. They don't like come here. It's come here. Okay, was this good? Was this bad? I don't know. Um, These guys are super observant. Absolutely. A plus stroke. By the way, control panel. Doo doo. Well, now we can get up with ease. Oh, no, we still need. Okay, let's follow. Oh, I see. Never mind. Circuit box. Don't call the phone. All right, let's go. 
gonna be close to the end of the ep the chapter, right? I th oh. Ah, do do exit. Not so fast, my dear intruders. Oh, do we get to smack him? Yay, finally. Would make me look very bad indeed. Oh, that emerald core crystal. You must be the Aegis. Much as it pains me to admit it, it seems Borad was right on the money. You do? You know who Power is? Are you trying to capture it too, you ratbag? No, no, language. But of course. The most powerful blade in all of history, with the power to rend all rest asunder. Only a fool would know of that power and not seek to claim it. And I am no fool. Therefore, I will claim her as my own. You cannot argue with such logic. May I counter with... Law detected we are... final step of logic. Yeah. How... Sorry, pal. But you've done all the capturing you're gonna do today. How are you gonna capture if you don't have Such the most powerful one? Let's go, Pyra. They're kind of... She's already got a driver, too. Alright. Well... It is what it is. Now we've got... Full steam ahead. <laughs> okay. Alright, Montgomery. Now we've got ourselves a decent side party, it's worth knowing how to deal with aggro. I dare say you've already noticed, but while a driver is being attacked by an enemy, they'll be marked with a red ring. We call this the aggro marker. The wedges on the marker point to the targeting enemy or enemies. Okay, showing you the direction you're being attacked from. Aggro is a measure of an enemy's aggression towards you, towards the drivers they're fighting. The more viciously you attack an enemy, the more it'll want to attack you back. Drawing aggro is dangerous for healers since they have low HP, they're more likely to be incapacitated by attacks. Make sure to keep Nia's aggro low. Drivers that have defense oriented classes are better equipped to draw aggro to absorb enemy attacks. So right now, it's better for Tora to have the most aggro. Drivers with fighter type classes are the ones that focus on dealing damage on to the enemy. That's Rex. So make him the mainstay of your offense. Here's the cheat sheet. Defenders take the hits, healers heal defenders and fighters hurt the enemy. Well, now you know about aggro the, and driver class, that's two things to keep in mind while you're giving no call. What for? Did we get a chance to change our party? No. Okay. Oh, we got an attack. Will you stop moving about? Alright. Now that you've got three people on your team, I'll give you a quick primer on the ceiling effects of blade combos. Take a look at the ad indicators the arrows is pointing to. These show the various ceiling effects that can be applied if you execute a, execute a stage 3 blade combo. Which I've yet to do because I keep killing things too fast. The final special use in the blade combo will determine which ceiling effect is inflicted depending on the combo route. Once inflicted, a sealing effect will continue until it gets overwritten by another seal. Regardless of type, sealing your enemies puts you at a massive advantage, so you should go all out to try to hit home with a stage 3 blade combo. However, there's one drawback to be aware of. When you hit an enemy with a stage 3 blade combo, they'll acquire resistance to the combo's element. When this happens, an orb signaling that resistance will appear around the enemy. These are called element orbs. Okay. Attack the enemy with the same element as the orb and you'll do greatly reduced damage. Alright. So we'll have to switch maybe elements. This means using the same combo route repeatedly will deal much less must that better. Much less damage. Okay. So when you use blade combos, you should experiment with different routes. Make haste and retreat. Why not? 
Get back here. Oh. Was that it? That coward. He's just hiding behind his blade. What? Does common sense allude you? A blade can regenerate from any injury. Whereas if I die, my blade will return to a useless core. So it's okay to use them as a living shield. You weasel. Even if you can regenerate, that doesn't mean blades don't feel pain. Ha ha ha! The flea bag thinks we should care about blades feeling. Uh, you should. <laughs> I wonder if you can feel pain. Do do. All right. Let's go. Get back here. Smack it, smack it, smack, smack, smack. All right. Oh dear. Let me do it. Get over here. Please leave it to Okay. Get over here. Oh my gosh. Wait. We got knocked down, so that's good. Okay, oh, he's got some. Oh, yeah, heat. Heat's good. Here we go. And then, can I use. Alright, so. I thought I used... Okay. Okay. Okay, let's try this. All right. Fully completed. Oh, fully completed the attack. So, because we're so close, I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. Okay, I see. All right, we're getting there. Alright, I think it's feel for this. Okay. So yeah, one, two, three, but alright. I won't be able to. Okay, let's see if I can uh, You know what? If I could use Oh well. Okay. Oh, now he is three again, but that's fine. It'll take him out. Pouch expansion kit! Ooh! Earth can go into fire, Earth. Okay. How? A mangy flea bag and a bunch of stinking kids? I triumphant return to more Ardain with the Aegis. Oh. <laughs> out like a light. That's what he gets for trying to execute Nia. What? He was trying to take me back to Morardain. Rex, this is a trap. A trap? So they weren't actually going to execute you? No time! Talk later, Rex Rex. We should escape! Let's run! 
Master Pawn is right. Chance of reinforcements very high. Let us make haste. Getting out of town would be a good start. Let's go. Oh, well, never mind. These flames again. It's her. Okay. Oh, hello. And with a driver too this time. That's Morag, the flame bringer. Morag. Special Inquisitor Morag of Morar Day. The most powerful driver in the Empire. And wielder of Bridget. The most powerful blade. So together they're like ultra powerful. It looks like they were waiting for us. Yes, indeed. I did feel like we got away a little too easily. I don't know why I expected Dougal to slow you down at all. It was you, right? You're the one who spread the rumor that I was going to be executed. Just to lure Rex and the others here. You catch on quickly? Yes. You certainly proved useful. All right. However, Rex and Pyra are the real price. <laughs> Not quite. The Emerald Core Crystal is the sign of the Aegis. If that blade is indeed the Aegis, then there's something I must do. Oh. What do you mean? The power to sunder all rest itself. I cannot allow that to happen again. Again! Hyra destroyed the world. Don't be so stupid. You mean you didn't know? 500 years ago, during the Aegis War, the Aegis sank three continents to the Cloud Sea's bed. Three but titans why? destroyed. I speak not but historical fact. Oh. I'm on to you. You want to use Pyra as some kind of weapon. We're not going to let you do that. That is precisely the kind of scenario that I mean to prevent. He doesn't want to resist. He doesn't want to sink anything. Then I will have to restrain Ooh. you by force. In that case, I'll make this nice and clear. I like her you weapons. Will never take her. Do, do, do. Then let's see if you have the strength to back up those words, boy. Oh my gosh. This music, this scene, this is amazing. Alright. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Okay, she's level 15, so we're gonna have to do our best here. There we go. Nice. Okay, we get her knocked down. Okay. Get back over here. Okay, need. Okay. Okay, that's done. Alright. Don't think we'll have to. Alright. I don't know if I can get a fire. Three by in that time, but that's okay. There we go. That's fine. We're we're working on it. Okay, let's go. Okay, so 
Okay, I guess we can use the Perfect. Okay, Steam Bomb! I haven't managed to do a three. Okay. Let's go! Oh shoot, I can't do that. I did not mean to do that. Oh well. We're, we're getting it. Maybe we should try. Okay. I'm gonna check something. Okay. We're gonna re. Okay, well. Let's go. fire. Okay. If we could do a second fire. Let us make use of it now. I don't think you can, but. Not I will use that, but until then. Alright. Oh, never mind. We got. Yeah! Alright. Slowly, slowly getting the hang of this. Oh. <laughs> she just looked. What? Pyra! Ooh, epic battle scene. Stubborn child, why don't you just give it up? He's just trying to protect Pyra. Get Pyra. She's more than just the Aegis or some kind of weapon. She's a living being. No. Oh. Pyra has somewhere she needs to go. And I'm gonna help her. I'm not gonna let you stand in her way. Ooh. This is getting tiresome. The power of the Aegis is formidable, but the driver's skill betrays her. Hey, we can improve. Stay vigilant, Morag. An unknown power lurks within this bow. But of course, this blade he calls Pyra. Your flames burn far stronger than hers, but her flames hide something deeper. Is everyone all right? Hanging in there. <laughs> Those two, very strong. I know. At this rate, we'll never. There has to be a way. Some kind of water. She's a fire blade. We've got to find. Water. Do -do -do. Guys, let's just flood the whole area. Hmm? Sure. Then follow me. Ah, there they are. Ah, if you let them into a trap, they'll lead you into a trap. Yes. Uh, you gotta check your surroundings! Look 
Look who's talking. Aha! No! Roger, Roger. Teamwork. Oh. So that was just uh water time. So that's their plan. Can you avoid it? So Pyro being too heavy was just uh, a precursor to this. Here we go. Estimate us. We might be not be the strongest right now, but we're very resourceful. Very resourceful. I feel slighted. How <laughs> so? <laughs> not the reaction. They actually, held back against me in battle. <laughs> I like you that reaction. That boy, did you not see? He could have struck me with that blow, but he averted his aim. He did have good instincts, too. And I'm going to help her. I'm not going to let you stand in her way. The Aegis. If she is traveling with that boy, perhaps it is worth letting them roam free for a while. You mean... We'll cross paths again. And when we do, we shall see. She's very reasonable. <laughs> She's like, all right, well... Kind of don't want destruction, but also... Uh, might be hope. All right. Do -do. I don't think they're following us. Perhaps we're safe for now. You're right. We should get some rest. I can't go any further. Oh, Tora is pooped as well. <sighs> Maybe find uh, some place not Did out in the open. Open? Huh? Oh, how dare you. We are grateful for all you've done. We wish you well on your travel. How dare you keep trying to leave us? I want to reach Elysium. What? <laughs> I made a promise. I'm taking Pyra to Elysium. <laughs> I mean, that's a reaction. Like, uh, that's a bit random. It's just... She gave half of her life to save mine. I owe her. Oh, Rex. But half the world seems to be after her. With the Titans dying off, living space is running out. That's going to start wars. And people need weapons to fight wars. That's why they want her. If I can prove Elysium exists, maybe I can stop the war that's coming. But fighting Morag taught me something. Gotta get stronger. I'm not strong enough. There you go. I can't do this alone. Nia, you're a driver. We could really <laughs> use a companion smack? like you. If you want. Why did you just smack Elisa, him out of the way? Do you really Tora. believe in that myth, kid? I mean, I have an ancient sword Pirate telling me, me so. She was born there. Yet yeah, here she is. So it must exist. Right? <laughs> Your logic is almost as good as Dougal's. Listen, Rex. I don't know if you're stupid or just too nice for your own good. But what if Pyrus just lie in? What if this is all an act and one day she turns around and stabs you in the back? Pyra wouldn't do that. I mean, of why I wouldn't? I don't have a knife. <laughs> so serious. <laughs> she... 
<laughs> An emerald core crystal is a sign of the ages, huh? Sure, why not? This could be interesting. Really? My lady. <laughs> I kind of want to see this Elysium for myself now. Maybe Why we were you with Torna? That's it what does. I wanted. No. I need more history. An endless field of green among the clouds, eh? If the legends are true, even people like me. Dramatic, <laughs> don't live a sin slap. Slaps Torna. <laughs> why? Oh. It's just like, uh, why not? <sighs> I'm sorry. Did I wrap it too tightly? It's fine. I'm fine. See? I can swing it like this and it doesn't even... Ah, ah, ah. Oh. <laughs> I knew it. Thanks. I feel much better now. <laughs> oh. I'm sure that's Nia's poultice doing its job. Thanks. So casual. Pyra, you hurt too. Are you okay? I'm fine. It's just a scratch. Hey, let me help. Oh, let's let's help each other out. Let's be best buds. We're a team. Thank you, Rex. No worries. Least I can do. There, all done. How's that? Hmm. Looks good. Um, Rex? <laughs> Look, they're the same. Oh. Uh, yeah. I. I guess they are. <laughs> so awkward. Oh. Oh. This is very nice. <laughs> so beautiful. Yeah. It really is. I guess. That's probably because you made it, Pyra. Huh? Um, no. What? I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> You're just, um, really good at making fires. That's all. <laughs> it's what I do. Okay, I take back what I said. He's probably not the most, uh... Oh, we finished chapter two! Oh! My gosh. Woo! All right. Yeah, let's save. Oh, what is our other Nim? Yeah, he's not the best one to teach Nim how to be less socially awkward. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Underwater. Da, da, da. Secret base. Oh, right. These guys. A mysterious dude and dude who needs therapy. Welcome home, Jin. Hey, Akos. I hear the Aegis awakened. Nasty shock for you? 
Or was it? Of course, my script showed how everything would play out from the start. Sure, you say that once it's all over and done with. It's easy to act smug when hindsight's on your side. Shut your mouth, Abrona. I'm shaking to my core. Where are the other two? Mikhail's <laughs> inspecting the Ardanian factory. What? And my beloved sister is out hunting, as always. Who I'm sure are she'll have found plenty of drivers to chew up and spit out by now. She likes to hunt, all right. Not sure we can use all of those core crystals, though. Do we know where the Aegis is right now? Have no fear, Jin. Of course we know her whereabouts. Look at this behind. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hmm. It seems they're currently traveling away from the urban area of Gormot. Leaving the town. But there's nothing out that way. Perhaps they're on their way out of Gormot itself. Oh, and... What? It seems a certain shipment has set out. The core crystals heading to Indol for cleansing, huh? How pious of them. Shall we handle them? I can deal with that myself. You concentrate on the Aegis. Understood. Well, I am looking forward to clapping eyes on the Aegis. By the way, what of Nia? You know where she is? Yes. Look, this dot here. Without a doubt, this is Dromark's wavelength. It seems they're traveling together with the Aegis. With the Aegis? <laughs> Do as you see fit. Understood. You don't need to ask me twice. Right then. <laughs> We're gonna take the Monoceros. <laughs> oh, these guys are such Gosh. caricatures right now. I love it. <laughs> so hey. Don't do anything too reckless. No promises. <laughs> uh, what, what are y'all even plotting? Why? What is that? A Cloud Sea Compass. Yeah. A must have for salvages. It's sort of a map of the Cloud Sea. If you do this, and this, what's the date today? Um, Amathitober 5th, 4058. Okay, so now we put the date in. See? Oh, this is very clever. Looks like Gormot is the closest country to the World Tree right now. All we need is a ship. The army has every ship in town in its grip. We got a steel ship. We're kind of stuck. Seems that way. Sorry, S I'm away? no use now. I know, I know. But I'm all out of ideas. Rex Rex needs ship? <gasps> Tora, I have good idea. Steel ship. You know? There is shipbuilder oh. living at Gormot Titan's Bum Bum. <laughs> Old friend of Tora's Grampy Pon, he called Umon. Maybe he help if we tell him what's what. Sure, it's worth a shot. Okay. Let's get going. I wanted to steal a ship, become pirates. You guys, you just crushed my dreams of being a pirate. Ugh. All right. Let's see. Hey, Tora. The place where this Uman guy lives isn't affected by the cloud sea tides, is it? Hmm? Why would Rex Rex ask? Uh, because if we need to go there, we gotta make sure it's not under the cloud sea. Well, I noticed the cloud sea's been pretty low ever since we went off to save Nia. It's still low now, right? I was worrying that depending on the situation, we might be forced to find a different route. Rex has a point. The cloud sea tides can have a marked effect on the areas you're able to tread verse. Sometimes the cloud sea may allow you to swim to places that once were once out of reach, but equally it can submerge previously reachable areas, halting your progress. Exactly, so I was wondering whether we need to worry about any of that where we're going now. That makes sense. That is no problem. Path to shipyard of Uman not affected by cloud sea at all. That's good to know. If it was somewhere we could have only reached at high tide, we'd have to rest up at Somewhere until the clouds rise. Oh, can we finally change time? That doesn't sound so bad to me. 
Frankly, I'd welcome a well-learned rest at an end while we wait for the tide to change. No offense, Rex, but your helmet isn't always the most comfortable abode. Oh, is it... Do you have to do it at an inn? Ooh. Yes, yes. You can always have a stretch and a lie down next time we visit the inn at Torigoth. For now, though, we go to Shipyard of Uman. Alright, let's do... Before we go, one last blade. We're gonna view the awakening. Cause it just makes it feel a little more epic. Wah. Let's see. Deep. Deep. Ooh. Did anyone? Oh. Oh. Oh, hello. Call me Gorg. Gorg. It's a great honor to have met you. Yay! I pledge the whole of my power to you. Yay! Water blade. Do do do. Okay. All right. Very first rare blade for the year. Yay! All right. Well, we saved Nia today. Oh my gosh, we did so much today. We found Gramps. Gramps died, but Gramps is secretly a jellyfish, so Gramps did not die. We found out Nia is a wanted fugitive because she's part of Torna, has the worst wanted poster in all of his <laughs> existence. Find out Tora is <laughs> a bit of a weed. We rescued Nia. We unlocked a bunch of blades. I have no idea what Torna is up to, why they are up to whatever nonsense they are up to. I do like this new Torna's characters. I guess that's Blade. I don't know. I really like the character design. I like a lot of these character designs. They're a little bit over the top at times and just very caricaturist, but in kind of a fun way. I think you kind of need that ridiculousness with Xenoblade to just balance out the absolute chaos and heart-wrenching moments. I do like how they took the sort of silly moment where Poppy is trying to pull up Pyra because then that same mechanic gets used later on in the story in a more serious moment. I'm just waiting for the drama to drop though because I know that's how Xenoblade works. Right, my beautiful beans and things, you know what time it is. It is time to read some comments. Our first comment is by Antonio J. Sanchez. Nia is best girl. You mean the best girl isn't the Ardanian soldiers? I mean, with their impeccable uniform style and dedication to duty, how can you not love them as best girl? And better yet, you don't get just one best girl, you get a whole army of them. Really? I mean, what's not to love about this idea? Our Danian soldiers, best girl. That's the true answer right there. I mean, if you have to pick one, I guess Captain Padrug. This poor man has to deal with so much nonsense and abuse. Like, he, he deserves some recognition. There you go. There's, there's my answer on best girl. Mia's amazing as well, but I... Honestly, how can you choose a best girl when there are so many amazing characters? Anyways, thank you so much for your comment. Our next comment is by Minda78. The Ardanian soldiers are a whole bunch of poor people. They had such nice voice lines until they got fixed. RIP, my brave soldiers, we won't forget you. I do agree, poor, poor... Ardanian soldiers, because we terrorized them this time around. I felt really bad about it, but also XP. So forgive me, noble Ardanian soldiers. Nia may not be much of a criminal, but I certainly felt like one. Beating up these poor soldiers that, who are just on their coffee break, hanging out in their barracks, the medic, the medic's dog, stealing from them. Yeah, I kind of felt like the bad guy. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. These poor soldiers have had to deal with so much throughout this game. But I think this is probably why they're so loved. They're awesome characters. Even if their voice lines did get changed, I'm kind of sad I didn't get to experience it. It, but it is what it is. Thank you so much for your comment. That's going to be it for today. So have a good day, have a good night, wherever and whenever you are, and I'll see y'all soon. 